Hello, welcome to this video presentation. We're going to show you the Core Tests HCG pregnancy test cassette for self testing. This is manufactured by Core Tests in vitro diagnostics. Uh, they manufacture a whole range of self testing products, test membranes, including this pregnancy test cassette. Here's the foil. You can see nice, very bright pink foil. Good quality aluminium foil. It's got the manufacturer's details on here. It's CE mark is 0197. It contains one test. On the reverse of the foil you've got some very easy to follow test procedures. Uh, remove the test device from the sealed pouch and lay it flat. Use the pipette that's packed in with the test cassette to add three drops of urine. And then you read the result at three minutes. Uh, sorry, five minutes. Uh, if you're pregnant you get two lines, a nice clear test line. If you're not pregnant you just get a control line. If the test hasn't worked for some reason you get an invalid and no control lines or test lines. So here we're going to run the test for you. Open this foil, move the test cassette and pipette. Also in here you have a, a sachet of desiccant which is just silica crystals to keep the uh, test cassette in optimum form. That's the uh, desiccant pouch so if you see that and wonder what you've got to do with it, it's just there to keep the test dry and in peak condition for testing. So here we've got a test cassette, standard format, HCG written on the top. C and T marked on there and S for the sample well. What we're going to do on this test is just run it for you by adding one, two, three drops with a pipette. And we've just got to wait now for the membrane to run. What you'll see starting to run in the uh, results window is the pinkish dye starting to travel up the uh, cassette and that will pass past the uh, test area and the control area and you'll get a couple of lines forming. So if we just wait for that to develop and we'll show you the result on this one. It takes about a minute to two minutes to uh, pass osmotically right up through the test window area. Depends how much urine you've added to it and how warm it is. There'll be a little variance on that. And we've got a nice clear control line forming on this result. You can see you've still got pink dye in the body of the, the results window. There's nothing to worry about at this stage. Got to wait for the full development time of five minutes to read the result. You're looking for the presence of a test line, obviously, to indicate uh, HCG above the cutoff for the tests. Now, these test membranes, this, this one is marked as a 25 MIU standard membrane. It hasn't got ultra indicated on it, but they also are manufactured to a sensitivity of 10 MIU, milli international units of HCG. And that format would be referred to as an ultra pregnancy test. Benefits of testing for lower levels of HCG means you can detect a developing pregnancy a little earlier than if a standard 25 MIU test. But drawbacks are that very small percentage of these pregnancies you'll detect them but they won't continue, they will uh, not implant properly. So it's important if you are using ultra membranes to then confirm the test and pregnancy between 24 and 48 hours later using a standard 25 MIU membrane. That just confirms for you that the pregnancy is implanted and is continuing normally. Now, if we just show you the result on this, I don't think there's any clear indication to wait for the full five minutes on here. You've got a really nice, easy to interpret, dark band in the C line. Absolutely no test line forming at all. So this is a negative result. You should, with these tests, always wait for five minutes. And important is to time it properly so that at the read time you're looking for the presence of any test line. Now if it was even very thin and faint the idea would be to uh, confirm the test again in 24 to 48 hours with another test if there's any chance of pregnancy. Even if it's negative you should continue to test if you're getting any symptoms of pregnancy with these ultras because physiologically there's a variation in the implantation time of ovum and the placental development has to be at a stage where you're producing the hormones for you to get a positive test results. Very small percentages of pregnancies will implant very late and even using ultra membranes you may not get a, a positive test result those days early that you've brought them to test at. So there you go, that's the core ACG home pregnancy test cassette demonstrated for you. And I hope you've seen just how nice this test is in terms of its results characteristics, in terms of the lovely lines that it forms. Really can't be much in the way of uh, interpretation issues with this membrane. It's a very good quality test.